Today is the day. Ah, oh, you've been asked for it. It's here. I'm not talking about my buddy Jay. I'm here too. He's here too. I mean, I'm just excited for that. But the 232 has arrived. Check out that port. Woo! I'll get into that in a little bit. So today for the video we're gonna be putting in the motor, put the wheel on it. As you can see the motor's bare because I already have all the parts that I'm gonna be putting on it. I'm not gonna use what the usually comes on a normal 232, so I got my own setup I'm gonna run. I have my header here. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna be running an open pipe like that, and I'm gonna weld a wide band right there so that I can tune it on the wide band like I do with normal GYs, and I have my two shocks, which are gonna go right on the base of the motor there. So I'm not gonna waste any time, I'm gonna put that wheel on right now, go ahead and slide the motor in so I can take it off the roller here, and I can put the side skirts on and get a whole, whole look at how the bike's gonna turn out. So we'll go to a time lapse right now. So you can see now, the motor is in. Got that 232 in there. With these, it's just that one engine bolt that holds it in place. Because this is based off like a GY6 platform, it primarily will fit in just how it's supposed to. We did notice a couple things that we're gonna have to adjust once I bring it to get the wheelie bars done. So on this side, because this case is a little different than the factory GY6 that came in it. The factory GY6 one, the tab came out further down over here. This one's a little bit higher up for the shock bolt. As you can see, it's it's still loose because we're, right now we're going through the fitment, making sure everything is going to work. This side, we have to screw it down some. Now, there's not enough threads on this one, so we're going to have to make an adjustment to this. Either maybe cut it inside here, add a piece of rod in between the weld, or add a take this nut off and then add some space to this so that it can put more thread in. But this is probably where the bike's gonna sit. Then we'll put the wheelie bar on, got the wheel. I'm gonna trim this down over here by the VIN. So this isn't gonna scrape. But today now I can put those side skirts on that I have and really get a feel for the bike. Not too bad, fitment's good. I can still keep a fender, which is cool for when I do the burnouts. And then I have the this stem right here, which I wanted to use with these carbon fiber bars, but this all the way tight still is loose. It was supposed to be one inch, which is what the bar length is, and it's still loose. So I might go back to the other one that I had here, and Jay had showed me because when I ran it this way, how it's supposed to go, it's going to rub the plastics, which I don't want. If I flip it upside down like that with the shim it is going to clear so I can still do it like that and then put the shim in on it. We're going to, I guess I'll just decide tonight like which way I want to do. I'll put the side skirts on next and then go with that but overall the motor wasn't bad. The only thing to really figure out is just the shock issue and then go from there can't believe this thing's back on now. I mean, it's been like 
two months. So there it is. Hopefully within you know a couple weeks now, I'll be able to get it started because I'm waiting on just a few things. I don't need the nitrous necessarily right away, but I'm gonna purchase the rest of the transmission stuff. I need to get a little brake cable adapter, the brake shoes. Um, that's why I'm leaving this loose right now because I'm gonna be adjusting it and taking a couple things off just to, for mock-up. All right, let's go put them side skirts on. around thanks to the help of Jay I probably wouldn't have been out here cussing at it off camera for a little bit fitment was a little tight we had to change it up a little bit that's on there just gonna put the floor mat on and then figure out these handlebars and then I'll be ready to get it over to our fab shop to get the rest of the stuff taken care of making a lot of progress tonight I'm happy for it Big thanks again to Jay. That's my brother, in case you didn't know. I'm just kidding. Ginger brothers. Ginger brothers. We, we get confused for brothers all the time. Okay, so, ran into another little problem. I expected stuff like this to happen because you're doing something to a bike that you're not supposed to. So with that, I have the mountain bike stem which is gonna go right there. It has the shim already in it, but I need a different shim. And then what I'm gonna do is, you can see that hole right there in the triple tree? Once I get the right shim, it's gonna slide down. And when it lines up, I'm gonna tighten it up and have it centered with the front wheel. And I'm gonna drill a hole on the side of this so I can still run a bolt through the uh, triple tree and this handlebar isn't just relying on a shim. But this is what it's gonna look like with the, the carbon handlebars on there. I'm going with like a cafe style with a little bit of a turn, it's not gonna sit that low, but like that with a little bit of a turn down. And once I have everything bolted up, I'll probably cut off like an inch, inch and a half, because these stick out pretty far. They're originally on a grom, so maybe even like two inches. So I just have the throttle and the master cylinder. And this side, all I have is just a grip with a drum brake lever. But it's coming together. I hope you all are liking it. Got a few things to work on that I wasn't expecting, but I knew little issues would happen on the way. Again, that 232 was in. That was probably one of the easier parts of the day. So I know it was a short video. I hope y'all liked it. The next one, I'll probably be putting on all the motor parts that I end up picking up, like the transmission stuff and whatnot. 
And then I probably have like a week or so before I can go to the fab guy to bring the, um, get all the fab work done. But in the meantime, I can put on all the motor stuff, get the handlebars taken care of, and then I don't know, get ready for the first startup. Give a big shout out to Jay again for coming out, helping me out. Just gotta fly back up north tomorrow to the, well maybe not, it might snow. And if it snows, then you stand around for a little bit longer. Alright, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.